Welcome back. Lesson three is all about finding the distance. I have two points. One is A. One is B. I want to find the distance of A B. Remember, this is segment A B, and this is the distance of A B. How do we find the distance of A B? In other videos, you already watched or studied the relationship between distance formula and the Pythagorean theorem. Here we skip that. We can directly plug in the distance formula. Distance formula tells us this: I'm gonna find the difference of my x coordinates and square it. Difference of my y coordinates square it. I'm going to add them. That is it. Okay, remember who is the x sub one, y sub one? Who is x sub two, y sub two? You decide. All right. So I'm gonna plug in like this: five minus three. Close it. Square it. Six minus four. Close it. Square it. Five minus three is two. Two squared is four. Six minus four is two. Two squared is four, and we have a square root eight. Don't stop here. You want to simplify it, right? Okay. So think about it. Eight is two times two times two. When you have a pair of two, this says two is two squared. So two squared times two. Remember, this is a square root. So it's like a, you know the passcode, and you know the passcode is two, and you have a two here. So you can come out. You're free. So this two is free. Come out. The other two. Oh, you don't have a power two. Sorry, you have to stay here. It's a little bit small here. I'm gonna circle. Our final solution is two square root two. That is how we use the distance formula. After this portion, go ahead, write some points for yourself and practice using distance formula. The next one we'll still discuss distance, but this time gonna be much simpler. I'm gonna change this coordinate x coordinate into three. Now, did you see these two? They are they have the same value. X sub one, x sub two. Both of them have three. So which means this time when I look for distance, all I need to do is I'm going to subtract these two values, put them in the distance、uh, absolute value. Why? Because distance has to be positive. So I can do six minus four. Remember, order does not matter. I can also do four minus six. And both of them give me two. All right. Now let's examine it. We have two here. We're gonna put down here. We're gonna check this by plot them back into our coordinate plane. See what is happening. Point A is three, four. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Put down four here. So this is point A. Point B is three six three five six. Okay, three six is here. All right, and this is distance of A B, right? You can come to come here. You can come here. Now you can start to count one two. Okay, you can also say six minus four. See that six minus four. Now, did you truly understand why early we do? A subtraction because you're looking for the vertical distance, so you're subtracted. Once you go through the absolute value, who comes first does not matter. You can say four subtract six. All right, let's do one more. We find a vertical distance. This time we're going to find a horizontal distance. I'm gonna since we already used this.、Um, Two points several times. We're just gonna write a new point, okay?、Uh, I'm gonna say point A, point B, and、uh, this is ten. This is ten. This is seventeen. This is seven. Let's say this time. Obviously, we're looking for horizontal distance. Remember, for the ones that have the same value, don't worry about them. We're gonna subtract these two guys, okay? And which one comes first does not matter. 
I can do this. I can do this, and both of them give me the distance is ten. So the horizontal distance for these two points is ten. All right, that's how we use distance formula to find the distance between two points, and we also learn how to find vertical distance and horizontal distance. Happy learning.